Hello, my name is Walid Wakeen. I'm a distinguished engineer here at Cisco. And today, I'd like to discuss with you Cisco's introduction of the routed optical network. The routed optical network was built to enable our customers and providers to do more with less. In essence, allowing you to deliver services at a faster pace, improving your bottom line and reducing your overall network total cost of ownership. The Red Optical Network was built to provide a new level of optimization, not only on cost, power, and real estate, but at the same time to efficiently utilize your resources in your networks, enabling you to increase the longevity of your network and your infrastructure. Now, the Red Optical Network consists of four key pillars. The first pillar is based on integration integrating DWDM optics into the router. Now this integration is based on a zero capacity trade-off. By doing so, we will leverage pluggable digital coherent optics or pluggable DCOs. This will enable us to eliminate layers from the network, eliminating control planes, providing a new level of simplification, at the same time, enhancing availability and reliability by removing components from the network. Over the years, we built networks based on the technology lifecycle. In essence, we built layered networks because of where we were relative to technology and the services we were introducing. To deliver dedicated bandwidth services or transparent services, we did so based on a specific technology and a specific layer of the network. The second pillar of the routed optical network calls for collapsing these services onto the packet layer. We do this using technologies such as circuit emulation and private line emulation, again, providing further network simplification. The next step is the provisioning of services. Today, we provision our services source to destination. Now, the routed optical network says, let's provision the services hop to hop. Now, what does that mean? There's a lot of confusion around hop to hop. We're not telling you to replace your infrastructure. We're not saying to add more routers to your network. What we're saying is excuse me, provision your services router to router or hop to hop. Now, by doing so, you will simplify your network. And at the same time, you can do it over your existing infrastructure, your existing DWDM infrastructure, have it rodem based, have it mesh based, whatever the case may be you just provision the services router to router. And then finally, in order to provide true network simplification to truly lower your operational cost, we provide an end-to-end -end automation. Now, I get asked a lot, what is your secret sauce? And in essence, the secret sauce is quite simple. We're actually providing a totally open network architecture. The routed optical network is completely open built on open source and standards wherever possible. Have it the integrated DWDM optics in the router, leveraging the OIS 400 gig ZR optics to the MSA's open ZR plus optics, to the IETF's efforts around circuit emulation and private line emulation, enabling us to collapse the services on the packet layer, to utilizing open DWDM systems and standard DWDM interfaces to plug into those systems, to providing standard northbound models and a standard SDN architecture all to enable automation. This enables our customers to define their own win-win-win network. Innovation at a much faster pace and a provider defining the implementation that makes sense for their networks. Above all, we've modeled a number of networks across a multiple, multiple geographies, and we're consistently seeing greater than 46% TCO savings. In a future discussion, I'd like to discuss with you how we modeled these networks, what regions they were in, and the associated results. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for your time. And I ask you, please reach out to your Cisco account representative today and get further information on the Reddit Optical Network. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for your time.